Hello, welcome to the next section, automating workflows with the Graphical Modeler. We begin this section by learning about Graphical Modeler, and then we will be adding inputs and algorithms. Moving on, we will be running, editing, documenting, saving, loading, exporting and nesting models. Finally, we will be batch processing models. Now we move on to the first video of this section, Graphical Modeler. In this video, we are going to open a graphical modeler, configure it and rename it. A typical spatial analysis involves a series of GIS operations, with the output of one operation as the input for the next one, until the final result is generated. Using the graphical modeler, you can combine these individual steps into a single process. The interface to the GM allows you to visually draw inputs, GIS algorithms and outputs. The entire analysis is then ready to run as a custom tool within the processing toolbox. After assigning the inputs and naming the outputs, the entire analysis will run in a single step. A major benefit of this approach is that the completed analytical workflow can be modified and rerun. This allows stakeholders to understand how changing thresholds or input values affect the results of an analysis. The graphical modeler can be opened from QGIS Desktop in two ways. First, by clicking on Graphical Modeler under Processing, or by enabling the Processing Toolbox panel, navigating to Models, Tools, and then click on Create New Model. The Processing Modeler opens a new window. On the left-hand side of the window, there are two tabs, Inputs and Algorithms. These are used to add both types of elements to the modeler canvas that takes up the remainder of the window. Above the modeler canvas, there are the Enter Model Name Here and Enter Group Name Here input boxes to enter the model name and the group name. The buttons for managing models can be found above the Input and Algorithm tabs. Before starting a model, it is good practice to configure the modeler. Models are saved as JSON files with a Dot model extension. When you save a model, QGIS will prompt you to save the model file to the Models folder. You can set the location of the Models folder by navigating to Processing, Options in QGIS Desktop. Under the Models section of the Processing Options window, you can specify the location of the Models folder. Click on the default folder path and the Browse Ellipses button will appear. That allows you to select a different location. To demonstrate the basics of using the graphical modeler, we will use a simple example that identifies riparian tree stands in Alaska. It will have three inputs and two algorithms. First, we will give our model a name and a group name. Here we have opened the graphical modeler and named the model as riparian trees and the model group as land cover. This is the group and the name by which the model will be displayed within the processing toolbox. Then we click on the Save button. The Save Model dialog will open, defaulting to the Models folder. Here we will name it as Riparian Tree Clipper .model. Once this is done, you will get a message Model was correctly saved. If models are saved to the Models folder, they will appear as model tools in the processing toolbox panel. Once a model has been named and saved to the Models folder, it will appear under its group in the Processing Toolbox. Again, the model will appear with the name that was entered into the Graphical Modeler versus the name of the .model file. Models can be saved outside the Model folder, but they won't appear in the Processing Toolbox panel. The Processing Toolbox showing the model's category with the Land Cover group and the Riparian Trees model. Here, we successfully configured the modeler. 